to hear your first impressions of Malta? Well, the first thing that stood out to me as I landed here was the, the historical buildings, I guess, everywhere. Um, whether it was uh, the, the church, the cathedrals, the churches everywhere, or the, the, the old built, I guess that, that was the first thing. And then the sea. <laughs> you can't get away from that. Mm -hmm. And was Malta as you expected? No, to be honest with you. Uh, at first, I had no idea what Malta that Malta was a country at first. But then uh, when I actually Googled it and it turned out to be a European uh, Union uh, country, I thought, you know, it would be more European, more modern and everything. But then I came here and I, again, going back to the history, it just, it, it was definitely different, but in a good way. It, it reminded me of home. I'm originally from Lebanon and, and it was just, it, was, it felt like home and it was definitely better than I expected. How hospitable were the Maltese people? as hospitable as your family can ever be. They tr I'm, you'd think I'm being diplomatic, but really, if, if when you come and when you meet the Maltese, of course, I'm generalizing. There are some that might not be, but most of them are very hospitable, that's for sure. And what impressed you most of Malta? Um, I guess uh, the, the laid back life, the very late, I live in Valletta and uh, a lot of people are, they close the stores very early and uh, they go home, they, you know, my neighbors have, are with, they spend their time with their family and they enjoy, they enjoy family time more and that was very, that was very nice. And how do you spend your leisure time in Malta? Well, it depends. Sometimes we go out uh, as a group, as a class to, um, Pacheville, which is a nightclub uh, area here in Malta, uh, or to Medina to check out historical um, museums or, or temples or, of some sort. Uh, but most of the time, maybe at home cooking, uh, enjoying uh, you know, a girl's night or a movie or something like that. Um, was traveling around Malta easy? <laughs> no, that's... <laughs> uh, well, it, it could be easier. Uh, Arriva, for those that don't know who, what Arriva is, check it out. Uh, there are very interesting new buses that have come to Malta, as you know. Um, they, they are supposedly easy, but the safetyness of it is questionable, that's for sure. Can you mention one memorable experience you have had since you were here in Malta? Riding on a motorcycle uh, down to Golden, uh, up to Golden Bay, I guess. That was the most memorable one I've had. Uh, that, I think that's the best street that, that is fixed in Malta. And just riding that you know, motorcycle and the sea is to your right and then you see this castle on your left and, and I guess that's the most memorable. Did you taste any Maltese food? Yes. Uh, the first one is ricotta cheese. The, the pastizzi. I guess uh, hands down to pastizzi and hands down to Maltese on, the, on their dough, on their bread. Uh, I haven't tried rabbit though, the rabbits too. I don't think I will, my, my heart breaks for those rabbits. <laughs> but yeah, pastizzi among others. And what is your opinion of the Maltese cuisine? It can't get any better. Mediterranean, if you like Mediterranean cuisine, it's, it's right here. I'm more is the Maltese weather to your liking? It's definitely to my liking. I definitely prefer it to be warmer uh, during the winter, but you know, nothing is perfect. So, but it's, uh, I was here from September and it was very, very warm then. It definitely got colder, especially with the, in the, in the homes, if you live in a more of an older version of, of, of buildings, uh, you tend to feel the coldness a lot more, but yeah, it, it's, it's good. In the, in the summer and the spring, it's good. Do you feel safe in Malta? The safest I've ever felt. If you had to describe Malta in three words, what would they be? Uh, I thought about this question so much. I think if I were to describe Malta in three words, it would be an insult because there are no three words that could properly describe how I feel about Malta. Uh, I could figure out many words, such as family, uh, safe, safetyness, uh, 
island, Mediterranean, beautiful, historical, you know, and so on. So I guess that's what happens when you fall in love with something. You know, you can't really describe something in so three words. Are you planning to come back? I am. Um, I haven't planned to leave yet, <laughs> but we shall see. Okay. Thank you.